and I'm Angie. I'm Rhonda, and we are Adventures in Nomadness. And today we're going to talk about picking up your RV in Canada from Escape Industries. What can you expect? We couldn't find the answers, so we thought we'd give you the answers right here. Yeah! Hey, thanks again for joining us. So we picked up our Escape 21 on March 18th and we weren't sure what to expect because if you go on the forum or Facebook site, you're gonna get a lot of different answers on what exactly to expect on pickup day. So this is basically our experience and now our experience is definitely going to be different than your experience just because we had um, a very atypical snafu that happened today that actually had nothing to do with escape. But we're going to talk about our entire day and you know overall in general what you can expect when you go up to Canada to pick up your escape. You know some people will have theirs delivered but where's the fun in that? <laughs> <laughs> Go up to Canada, spend uh, a few extra days. Uh, yeah, and honestly, we're going to talk about what it all entails. It's not that complicated, and Escape Industries does a great job of walking you through step by step. And you can certainly call them if you're doing a build sheet and you're preparing to go up there and ask questions about what you can expect for your particular pickup day. So this is how our pickup day went. Now we decided to go up ahead of time, which I highly recommend. There is so much to do in Chilliwack and we'll do another video on that. That's all, there, there's just, it's mind blowing how much there is to do here. It's an outdoor Mecca for sure. Um, but first you have to cross the border to get here. So if you're a Canadian, obviously that's not an issue. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're an American, uh, the first step in picking up your ex escape is crossing the border. Yep. Uh, the only you know issues are things to think about. Obviously you need a passport. Uh, if you have little darling pets, I think they're off camera right now, but you do need their, their shot records. Um, you used to need a health certificate, but the, you don't need that anymore. Honestly, we have never been asked for their rabies vaccination or their uh, distemper vac vaccination, but I know the one time we don't have it handy, that's the one time they're gonna ask. Uh, also prohibited, prohibited items include uh, fresh fruits and veggies and cooked meat, but I would definitely recommend checking out the Canadian Border Crossing website. Mm -hmm. One other thing you cannot take into Canada is guns, so make sure you have no guns on you because that is a question they ask every single time. Before you leave home, one thing that you're definitely gonna come need when you're coming up from the States is some type of license that you put on your RV once you take possession in the States. So it's going to depend on your state. We're coming out of Washington. It was fairly easy for us to get a real license plate uh, because we'd paid for the RV and all that and we had um, our list and everything. It, but it's going to depend on where you're coming from, whether you're traveling through states or whatever. So I would go to your Department of License in your state uh, with your build sheet and everything and talk to them and find out what you need and make sure that you get what you need uh, before you call, come all the way up here to try to pick up your RV and then travel back down there. Um, so that's really important. We did run into one other couple that was taking their delivery from Oklahoma and I think they were under the gun to try to get a temporary uh, in Washington State just to travel through Washington State like on the way Like a temporary travel permit. Yeah. yeah. Um, so if that if it if you're going to have to do that I recommend trying to get a morning pickup so that you're not under the gun uh, with uh, closures uh, end of day closures on the li the Department of License so bear that in mind uh, so that you have a little leeway yeah and one one thing that escape found uh, fascinating is because they've never actually had someone from Washington give them the real plate so it really depends on licensing office to licensing yeah, office I think so. and we also had to um, get escape to fax us down or email us um, you know that same day we went to the department of licensing office near us uh, the actual uh, final invoice in usd us dollars versus canadian dollars we highly recommend if you're going to go up to Canada and pick up your escape to go ahead of time, go at least a couple of days ahead of time. There's a hotel right, basically right next door, super close by. Uh, it's a nice hotel and I do have some clips on our stay there. So if you're picking up your escape, you may want to stay at the Best Western Sure Stay Hotel, which is really close by. It's literally like a block 
even that much. It's a bit more of an industrial area of Chilliwack, but the convenience of this place is that it is so close to escape. So of course we got the pet family room. These guys are chewing on their chew sticks. They're a little bit oblivious, but the pet rooms have two queen beds. So it's pretty darn spacious in here. So with that, we made our appointment for 8.30 on a Monday. We thought, great, well, we'll get our RV midday and that'll give us time to get to our campground and get set up. Because the last thing you want to do, in my opinion anyway, is to have kind of a late pickup and then be under the gun to get to a campsite and then be trying to set up in the dark. That almost happened to us, but we'll talk about that. With a brand a new minutes. RV <laughs> that you are still trying to figure out. So yeah. even if you're experienced, and we are, so we pretty much knew how things worked and what we were going to need to do uh, but still I think for uh, there was a, a couple of other people picking up and it was their first time first time ever with um, an RV. and uh, I would have seen that as being extremely scary trying to pull an RV for the very first time as the Sun is getting ready to set uh, so again, I recommend trying to get pickups scheduled in the morning. So just in case there is an issue like we had, you want to talk about the issue we had? Uh, not quite yet. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. So our, our orientation we scheduled at 8.30 in the morning. We were scheduled with another couple that also had an Escape 21. So the orientation, um, we thought, great, we're going to film it so that we can, you know, share more of the actual experience with you. So we walked in with a camera and the first thing they said at the front desk was, no, no, you can't use a camera. They don't want you to film. I'm like, oh, okay, great. So I take our GoPro 7 with our nice, you know, fuzzy microphone back out to the car and was kind of bummed. Um, only to find out later that not wasn't quite the case, but that's all right. So they they have a great mock-up. Ba basically, they had us bring our, our truck around first, and we drove our truck around to the bay and backed it up to the RV and gave them a couple of things that they were going to install day of, including the AGM batteries and the uh, table pedestal that we we had them install. And then they do all of the fitting for the the you know the the um, the hitch and the sway bars that um, you may have gotten through them. So they make sure that everything's going to work. And then... Uh, so they're, they're doing that while you are then getting a, a review inside on the mock-up of all of your electronics depending on what your options mm -hmm. are and your particular setup. So I thought they did a, a great job. Uh, so nice lady took us back. They've got a fantastic mock-up in there mm -hmm. uh, which is pretty slick because you're there with another couple and they can run through all the systems on a wall and you can see especially with the electronics how everything is hooked up sometimes it's a mystery when you have your solar panels up there and your inverter down there and your battery over here and well you can't see the wiring you in your can't own see the wiring. Compu your uh, sorry your own RV but here you could actually see how everything flowed yeah which is really cool and they you know do an orientation on how your systems work uh, the other couple had uh, less electrical components than, than we did they didn't have the solar and the inverter and that kind of stuff so it was you know kind of tailored when she was looking at the build sheet to make sure that everything we had was covered and everything that they had was covered but it was a really fantastic and it come it, it turns out that we actually could film she just didn't want to be on camera so at that point we were able to whip out our cell phones and take what video we could of the actual process which is great and uh, I recommend it for yourself just so that you can kind of hear uh, how all that works for your particular RV setup. Now the great thing is though that Escape is actually coming out with a lot more videos. So if you go to YouTube, they have their own YouTube channel and Reese is doing a fantastic job of actually putting more uh, component specific videos out. Then after the kind of the general uh, orientation, they take you back to your RV and it's just so exciting <laughs> because you've waited yeah. months and months to be able to, to finally lay eyes on your baby. I, I know they send you a pic, they start sending you pictures a few weeks in advance and that excitement build you're like oh my god this is just amazing and then you get to feel it and we both just gave it a, a hug a hug like that because <laughs> it was really exciting to to finally see all that planning and we're full-time so it's even I think it's exciting for anybody but this is this is our home so it was really exciting to, to lay eyes on it and from there they did a fantastic job you get to uh, walk through your in, you know your specific um, RV and then ask any questions you want and we've got some pretty 
big recommendations for this process? So definitely t take your build sheet because e eventually you're going to be signing off at the end uh, that you had a walkthrough and that all of those things that you asked for are there. So make sure that you have that with you and you're checking off. If you have questions about your particular setup, you can ask them. Obviously they have a limited amount of time. So they usually kind of tag team. Um, in our case they had somebody doing interiors and somebody doing exteriors and there's two couples so they were switching off um, who was covering what. And then at the end of those walkthroughs um, they give you your keys. So there's two sets. One stage with the, the driver that's going to take the, the RV across the border and the other one you get. And then they also give you the other items that they give you for free with your RV, like your, your hose and things that I covered uh, or talked about in uh, one of our other videos. We'll put videos. a link up there. And we'll put a link in So up that there. you know what you need ahead of time and yeah. what, what, what you should what buy you ahead get. of time yeah. and what you will what get from need. them, which is kind of helpful yeah. for that. Yeah. Um, so make a list of questions. That is so key to, to make sure you go down the list with the build sheet and they've got a copy of the build sheet there, so they're making sure. Uh, but make sure and then have a list of questions ready before you even step foot mm -hmm. in there because again they have a you have a limited amount of time it's not like they're going to let you walk through it you know all day long um and it's really hard to check every single component um just because there is a limited amount of time we formulated a lot of our questions just off of reading the escape forum mm -hmm. and from the escape uh, travel trailer uh, Facebook page, uh, you can really get a, a great sense of, you know, potential issues or potential questions you want to ask and then write all those questions down because they're really great about, do you have any other questions? You know, the, she asked us several times, do you have more questions? We went down our list. I, I think, you know, some of the questions that maybe a, a new RV owner is going to ask are going to be different than ours um, for, for us. We were looking specifically for the things that we hadn't done before. We hadn't had solar before, so mm -hmm. a lot of our questions were about that and how it was integrated. Um, we're definitely looking around for things that other people have said that were issues. Uh, we found none. So I took the list off of the forum of all the issues that other people have found. I'm like, oh, where are they? Oh, no, they have fixed at least the ones that... Um, I looked for, I couldn't find. So um, really we had a couple of our own issues that we yeah. found later on that we'll 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 but talk about. But that's just like yeah. Moving on, once you've done all of that, um, they have your vehicle uh, hooked up and they show you that everything is all lined up, that you are uh, nice and even. Um, once they do that um, and they show your exterior as well and how all that works, how your hitch works, um, you will eventually move your vehicle out because the person that's going to deliver your truck is going to hook up to your trailer and take it across the border. So you move your vehicle um, and then you go inside and you get to wait for your final sign off. That's right. So we went inside all ready to go. Got to be about 2 11 o'clock and our travel trailer is hooked up. Uh, the other couple's 21 foot travel trailers all hooked up. We got side by side F 150 tow vehicles with our two side by side 21s all ready to go. And then nothing. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. So, Border Canadian. Not a industry's problem at all. At all. I but want to underscore no, that, that was absolutely not their, not their issue. So, our, our day became a little atypical at that point. So, basically, was it, I don't remember if it was Canadian or American side, but anyway, the uh, border export um, computers were completely down. So, so border patrol computers system wide completely went down. So, so, so everything trying to get across the border from Canada to the U.S. could not go. So you're talking all these big semis are backing up at the border. Exactly. So by law, um, Escape has to transport your trailer mm -hmm. across the border for export, and then you pick it up on the other side at a parking lot, and that all works very easily. Um, so, of course, they thought it was going to be a short period of time. Well, it turned out to be... Hours. Yeah, hours. Roughly about four hours <laughs> past that. Imagine that you have two drivers that are going to take two RVs over, and then they're going to come back, and they're going to hook up to another RV and take that over. And that other RV is a fifth wheel, so you have to have a fifth <laughs> wheel hookup. So now, all of a sudden, you have... A, you've got all of these RVs that have to go across at the same time so you don't have enough drivers. Now all the paperwork has to have 
the driver's name, any passenger name, and the truck's license that 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 driver is driving. And their passport information. And their passport information. So this stuff all goes on paper. So originally you have this all straight and now you're shuffling drivers, shuffling vehicles, and the paperwork gets all messed up. Without going into a lot of details, we just thought we would share the <laughs> worst case scenario that can possibly we happen. Had <laughs> we had it with the customs thing and it had nothing to do with escape. So really we started in the morning at we got there fifteen minutes early, eight fifteen, and we I think eventually, we left at four o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, and so going through the border was actually a breeze. It, we we got our RV at about four thirty. I think we left around three thirty, three forty-five, or something like that, from Escape Industries, and we were following our RV mm -hmm. down um, because they are going through import customs. They have a different <coughs> aisle than just normal traffic, so we kind of waved goodbye to our <laughs> RV as we t went to another yeah, line. Yeah, we thought it was going to be a while. So. We did, so we went over to the designated spot and waited for it in town. And, and I went to go grab up some burgers, yeah. and by the time I got out, there it was. I'm like, holy cow, I thought that was going to take hours yeah. longer, but we were lucky. Uh, because we had campground um, reservations, and again, like we talked about, not wanting to set up someplace with a brand new RV, you know, a in dark. We don't like doing that anyway, and I don't care how experienced you are, it's just not the, the best idea uh, to get somewhere after dark. But we did, so we got there in time enough to set up with, you know, about 45 minutes to spare. They help you set up when they transport it, so it's not like they're just dumping your trailer and leaving. They are helping you get that RV yeah, on your it up vehicle for you. yep. that first time. So if you need to video again or whatever it is so that you can watch it because you can't remember all this, don't be afraid to do that. Um, and I will say the drivers that we met were awesome. Super Every nice. single person that we met that are working there were awesome. The mechanics the, the, from the top down, um, I don't have a bad word to say about anybody. No, so. they were all great. Yahoo! We're finally all hooked up and ready to rock and roll. After a long, long, long day, isn't that a nice combo? Red truck, <laughs> red striping, red truck, red striping. Okay, we're happy that we've actually pulled an RV before. Woo, isn't that pretty? Yeah, no kidding. So that was our experience picking up our escape. It was very exciting. We mm -hmm. just had the, a little bit of an atypical experience there. So we hope this video was helpful for all of you potential escape owners or for you escape on the way owners that have your escape on order and you're looking forward to picking it up. Or if you're just thinking about getting an escape and the, the idea of going across the border to get it seems very uh, overwhelming. Uh, hopefully this <laughs> put you at ease or maybe it didn't. If you have questions or if you have additional ideas or a, a, additional information that you'd like to share with other people about the subject or you have suggestions for other uh, videos, let us know. All right, we've talked enough. Bye-bye. <laughs> Happy travels. Happy travels. <laughs>